first fish in the ice castle. We got a flag up. Morning everybody. We are still here in Northern Manitoba, still at Baker's Narrows Lodge. Today we've got a really special video coming. We're headed out to what's called an ice castle out in the middle of the big lake. Essentially, it's like a souped up trailer for ice fishing. I'll explain more when we get there, but we're gonna be taking out what's called a snow cat, and then we're gonna be getting dropped off for, for the night, fishing, cooking, and camping. So Brett and I just made a quick stop here on the on the launch. We're just bringing this. What do you call this one up, Brett? Here. Yeah, this, this is just a regular uh, uh, ice shack. You know, it's we call it a permi. It's your original one. You were this telling is me. It. This is the original girl <laughs> right here. This one here. started everything. This is it. So we're bringing this out on the ice on the way to the the ice castle. Going to drop this off for our, his other guests. Yeah, yeah. We got some other guests fishing out of this today, and uh, there's a nice wood stove in here that'll keep nice and warm. We're going to shoot across the big lake in the snow cap we're gonna head over to the glacier ice house and uh, get Adam set up in there how far does this ridge go Brett long ways miles and miles Like you can get right down inside of there, you know, like. Oh my God, it's all snow packed. That was way smoother than I was expecting. Yeah, well, I've, I've had to climb up a 10 foot one before. <laughs> Literally, climb up it and then back, it's, yeah, it's a bit sketchy. Check this place out. All right, we made it to the ice castle. So this is pretty luxurious when it comes to, I guess, fish houses or fish shacks as they're known. Everything in here is run by propane, so the heat, there's a stove, and then for power we have a small Honda generator that, that sits outside that runs uh, all the electrical. It even has a, a little bathroom with, with a shower and a toilet. We're gonna unpack, uh, make camp, and I guess we'll just start fishing. But before we get too comfortable, I'm gonna head outside and set up a tip-up line with one of these giant Cisco's, and hopefully we can catch a huge lake trout. the bait we're gonna put down to the bottom and hopefully the next time you see this it's in a huge fish's mouth it takes a while because these baits they they sink pretty slow and you want it to be right in the bottom and I'm just guessing but I think we're in about between 70 and 90 feet of water so uh, it's it'll take a few minutes to get down there for sure so the idea is when a fish swims by, picks up the bait, it'll grab it and swim away. And when that happens, it'll pull the line, which will trip the flag. It's pretty cool too. So depending on how many people you have sleeping here, you could, you could raise this up 
and like fit a cot or whatever underneath. Or two, there's a lot of room. And I'm pretty sure you could probably comfortably fit like five or six people in here, which is just crazy. I still can't get over how cool this thing is. This is the life, man. Yeah, now this is ice fishing. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Ice fishing has its own set of challenges. The cold, your gear freezing, stuff breaking. There's a lot that happens in extreme cold. This ice castle takes all of that out of the equation. First fish in the ice castle. Doesn't feel too big, but it's a start. <laughs> oh. Nothing too big. Got a bleeder though. Plan is actually to have a uh, cash and cook tonight, so um, I think we'll just keep this guy for dinner. We got a flag. We got a flag up. Doesn't look to be taking any line. So there's nothing there. That's what happens a lot of the times. These fish, they're swimming around and they're picking up the bait and dropping it. I'm assuming that's what happened this time. So we'll just set it up and hopefully that fish comes back. That's a good sign though. I don't want to lose him. Oh, come on baby. It's bigger than the last one. Beautiful fish. That's a bit of a better one. Look at that. You can say hi, Joel. Hi. Joel's on the phone back home. I'm trying to be quiet. No, you can talk to her, buddy. Everyone probably misses you. Is that trout? It's a lake trout, yeah. See it, buddy. Oh. <laughs> there, there she goes. Joel told me to catch that fish, so I did it for her. Yeah. Big one yet. Yeah, that was bigger. It's not the big one, but we're, we're trending in the right direction. All right, well, just about time for dinner. The lodge actually has their own brand of uh, of seasoning. Maybe we'll even be catching fish while we're eating. With our crispy fish, we have once again Mr. Noodles. We're in northern Manitoba. We traveled from pretty much southern Ontario to get here. Uh, we're pretty remote and it's not really easy to travel with food, so this makes it a lot easier. Mr. Noodles and fish, the combination you never knew you needed to try. Funny, the, the trout actually tastes quite a bit different than the lake trout we catch at home. And it's all based on what they eat. At home they eat a lot of smelts. That gives them a much more oily, kind of uh, fishy taste, I think. This tastes so much different. That is no fish on the line. <laughs> Here we go. I think it's bourbon o'clock. Oh yeah. Easy, easy. Look at that guy. Greasy. Little burbot. We'll get him back down the hole. If you guys watched the last video, we uh, ate a burbot. Burbot is uh, what they call freshwater cod or poor man's lobster. It's, uh, it's really delicious. We're just going to have to keep an eye on this rod. Uh, I think that's, it's just about burbot o'clock. They typically come in at night. They're a nocturnal feeder. Pretty damn good too. Can't beat fresh from the lake. I mean, this fish was swimming two hours ago. <laughs> it's pretty.
pretty good, but not quite as good as the burbot from the other night. So I'm gonna go with uh, go 7.8 out of 10. Here we go. <laughs> oh, feels like a good one. Oh yeah, I think it's fat. Holy crap. No, it's hard to get these guys to straighten out, but that's a big old burbot. That's for sure. Very cool looking. Looks like an eel. Might end up doing this all night. We don't get them that big at home, so I gotta take advantage of it now. From the comfort of my own house. Oh. <laughs> Does he hook to the tail? That was weird. That one's not hooked to the tail. Holy, it's another tank. They're getting bigger every time. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> that is huge. See ya, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. This is fun. I don't think you can call it luxury camping without a little bit of entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Lake Nona Golf. Oh my goodness. Another burbot. Got TV on. We're living large tonight. <laughs> Oops. In case anybody's wondering, it's a uh, perfect 21 degrees in here and only minus 10 outside, so a bit warmer tonight. But my American friends, 71 inside and 13 freedom units outside. <sighs> well, I gotta call it a night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's a weird feeling being this comfortable on the ice in such, a, in such a remote location. Not exactly sure what the plan is for the day, but for now, we're just gonna make our coffee, get to enjoy this uh, ice castle, and uh, see if we can catch a fish. Well, that's it guys, she's all locked up. This is uh, the last day, we're, we're flying out here tomorrow morning, so what an incredible trip here to Baker's Nails Lodge in Northern Manitoba. Do yourself a favor and get up here, do something different. Uh, this is an experience I probably won't forget for a very long time, and I'm already looking forward to coming back up here, hopefully sooner rather than later. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next one.